I'm Chris from Excalibur Publishing and this is our first in-house developed title called Circus World. We're really looking forward to its release on the 21st of September 2012 and want to show you what you can expect when the circus comes to town. You will manage the daily responsibilities of a travelling circus, starting out in the UK and eventually becoming a worldwide sensation, if you can handle it. As you start out on your entertainment career, you'll need to invest in hiring performers who'll be able to bring in an audience. At first, you'll have some very simple performances, such as jugglers and perhaps a dog riding a scooter. But as your circus grows and your popularity increases, you'll be able to hire better performers and even riskier acts, such as shooting a man out of a cannon. One of your main jobs is to organise the daily schedule, which includes setting up the lineup of performers. Who will be on first? Who will close the show? and whether you want one of them to take a rest to avoid injury, or whether you want someone to even try harder to put on a better performance at the risk of becoming fatigued more quickly. Performers will increase their skills as you use them regularly, but if you use them too much they could risk an injury, so you need to make sure that you don't push your talent too far. Each act will have a performance rating which will let you know what the audience thought of your show. They could be ecstatic, feel that the performance was adequate, or whether it was a disaster. It's your job to take this feedback and decide whether you want to even keep certain performers or if you should perhaps lower your ticket prices to compensate for the lower quality show. There are a great amount of budgetary micromanagement sections of Circus World and this includes setting ticket prices, managing advertisement revenues and even taking out an expensive loan which could make or break your career. It's hard to get the general public to come to a circus show with the promise of a juggler as a main act, so it's good to invest in sideshows which increase audience appreciation and also bring in extra revenue. You could purchase a food stand or a merchandise stand, or even some games that the visitors can play. In owning these extra buildings you'll need to make sure that you complete maintenance so that they don't break down, but will also need to even manage the stock level of the merchandise and food stands while also setting prices for individual items. Because this is a travelling circus you'll need to do some travelling. As you bring up the schedule you'll see how long your circus has booked its current location for. It's good to plan ahead and book your travels in advance. Not only will you be told of the size of the city, you'll also be told of a predicted weather report for that area. If it's sunny, there's a greater chance of a larger crowd. If it's raining, people probably won't be too persuaded to visit your circus. Once you feel you've done all you can on the shores of the UK, it's time to get global and take your circus abroad. Circus World is out on the 21st of September for PC and later this year on Mac. 